This is the tale of two boys, a comradeship established in the North, a filmmaker and a hack of all trades. Come winter months, the boys belong in the northernmost of Japan's main islands, Hokkaido. Riding snowboards is where they feel the state of sublime, sharing love and appreciation for the mountains. The road is where they seek new and exciting vistas. The plan was simple. Create a mobile lodging from reclaimed materials to embark on a journey with no particular course. From familiar folk, they gathered supplies to complete the puzzle. Each piece telling a story of a previous purpose once served. Combining their own respected crafts, the boys set off in search of deep powder and to explore the great outdoors. The boys stumbled upon unforeseen hindrance. The path, now unpaved, they headed east into the unknown. cruising through Sapporo. Um, we're about 20 minutes away from checking out our, hopefully our first candidate for our K-Truck camper. If it's good, we're gonna make the purchase, um, start the paperwork process, and then we're gonna have to come back and the guy said about a week, and then hopefully pick it up. What do you think? This, I reckon this is it. This is a beast. I'm taller than this, so it's pretty small. <laughs> find some recycled materials to start the construction of our cabin really. Um, I put a word out on Facebook with some of my friends to hopefully try and locate some anything really, bits of wood, um, old bits of corrugated iron for the roof, anything that might be of use to um, put our cabin together. Just picked up our little beast, um, taking it for the first drive out of Sapporo. Pretty fun, uh, little five speed manual, uh, no power steering, so it's a little bit tricky to do quick turns, but yeah, so far so good. discovered that if it sticks out beyond the sides of the tray, it is definitely illegal and we're going to get pulled over. So we're back here today, the only remedy we can think of is cutting one of the sides off and just do the best we can to put it back together. It's a bit of a stitch up but the show must go on. 
It's not really a good feeling being almost complete and then ripping it all apart. You and don't touch that one. Leave that on. Leave that one on. <laughs> Day two. Day day two, yeah. Day two we were riding in Asai Dake. Snow was snow was all time. Really nice. Um we were joined by some friends, Angus and Elliot. Um and yeah, we were, we were having a great day and then I managed to take a silly fall, dislocate my shoulder. I've had plenty of problems with it in the past. Um but it's been a few years since I last dislocated. So that wasn't much fun. to have lost about 60% of the steering. Stumped about, I don't know, a fair few centimeters right now. It's still absolutely hammering. We're on this sketchy little back road. My heart's racing pretty damn quick. They kind of just, the wheels just get in somebody else's track. I kind of just decide where they want to go. This is the uh, high-tech sushi warming, warming kit for your toes in a cold evening. I've got two thermals, a hoodie, and like a puffer down jacket and sleeping bag. This is the uh, fireplace for the evening. Um, I think it's negative 15. It's just, it's not like it's just a little piggy squealing and oinking. <laughs> I think it might have just been you snoring. <laughs>
quite all right a few faces to the darkest night oh pretty faces All in all, pretty good first night. Very good on to last night. Couple of swift whiskies to throw with it. So I'm just walking back to the car. We are at Cape Notoro. And I can see a police car next to Charlie. I'll take you away to heaven. <laughs> no, no, no. Here comes the new, new trail mix. <laughs> so bright, so bright. You can stare at the stars at night, at night. Okay. You can tell 